Hello there folks, Tatercat here, letting you know that I currently actually do not have a camera, so enjoy the f ridiculous face of this black cat. Today I will be reviewing Fluids by Mei Leitz. Mei Leitz is actually a YouTuber that I follow that goes under Nick's Fears. I will put a link to her channel in description. She does... A lot of horror-based stuff like horror movies and I know she did a tier list on the scary stories to tell in the dark stories which I enjoyed because scary stories to tell in the dark was a big part of my childhood anyway fluids is her first book she seemed to have said that she wrote it to specifically write like something fucked up and I am a connoisseur of reading fucked up things. Probably shouldn't be, but I am. The story follows two women, Lauren and Dahlia. They meet on Tinder. Lauren is a very depressed person who's kind of going in this self-destructive cycle of just meeting strangers, having sex with them, and then never talking to them again. To fill the void because her, she talks about her father having died, even though he wasn't like, even though they weren't like super, super close, it just left this big voice in her life. And this is, seems to be taking place around lo when coronavirus is causing lockdown. So she's just like, I don't know, or it's like post lockdown and everyone is now just like isolated, alienated and weird. She matches with Dahlia, who is a very timid person who is just, seems to be terrified of venturing into the outside world despite desperately wanting to. We find out that she is- part of what her fear is is she is trans in a not very LGBT friendly area. Her mom doesn't validate it- validate her at all and you know it just- it's a shitty situation. On a whim, Lauren drives all the way to the city that Dahlia lives and is just like, oh hey, I'm here. So Dahlia just, while freaking out a bit, eventually just decides, you know what, this might be good for me. I'm just gonna go start a new life that's not here and leaves with Lauren. Lauren is insane. Like, she is a very toxic person. She is not a good person at all. She takes Dahlia to a casino and for her to celebrate, like, her birthday, quote, you know, b rebirth as like a new person and talks Dahlia into doing this scheme of they trick a guy to get a hotel room with them because, oh look, gorgeous women and they want to do stuff with you. Hey, let's go go get us a room and we can do some drugs. Just be sure to bring some money and says, well, we're going to rob this guy and everything goes wrong. I won't give spoilers in case you want to read it, but Lauren is just insane because that whole idea that whole thing was her idea and then Dahlia's almost like a lost baby bird who just got kicked out of the nest like just learned how to fly but that doesn't mean she knows what she's doing and it's actually pretty sad like I feel bad for Dahlia throughout this entire book I feel like it's it does switch back and forth between the perspectives of Lauren and Dahlia and I guess that gives more insight to since it's since it's even on the book says written in an often stream of consciousness style which is just exactly how their brain is thinking including the weird like metaphorical stuff that your brain will go through especially when there's like crazy shit going on I still say Lauren's absolutely insane though it starts with Lauren I think this story is more about Dahlia's transformation into a new person. That's my personal opinion. From a 1 out of 10 rating, I'm probably gonna say it's probably a 6. I can see myself reading it again, but it's not gonna be one of those books that I'm in- that I'm not in love with it. That's about it. It's- it's fine. It's worth, like, one read, unless you are someone who gets, like, pretty turned off to, like, murder and like pretty graphic murder too like it's not just like oh quick shot to the head no it's pretty damn graphic this is a graphic book so if you're one of those faint of heart kind of people this is not something for you so yeah 
That's about it. Like, subscribe, and all that noise. I'll see you in the next one, folks. Later.